All right, we're live. Uh, hey, it's the Tom and Pete show. I have no idea what we're calling it anymore. This is the no. Civil War show. This is the English Civil War. <laughs> uh, Battle of Edge Hill, we're looking at Musket and Pike by GMT Games. This is the this is the dual pack, which I actually have the physical game of sitting right in front of me here. Okay. And we're going to be basically playing right off the sequence of play. Let me grab my readers here so I can actually read the physical book. Yep. All right. So what I'm also going to do is as we play, I'm going to kind of call out what we're looking at. So I think, Tom, I had put I had put an image of just the sequence of play. You're welcome to just kind of. What yeah, I, I opened it. You, I opened it from that. the GMT. No, I opened it from the GMT side. You know it's, what? Let me. Um, if it's only sequence of play that is at the end yeah, of the rule book, just, then I, yeah, I have it, it from the from the GMT side. Right. So let it's, me go it's grab not that. some limit. You know, restricted. No, it's not. Pub yes, exactly. So I'm going to show it too, and I'm going to look as we look up rules. I'm going to just go to the section and play it. I've never played the damn thing. I want to play it. It's really good. I keep on telling myself to play it. I want to get it out of my on my tabletop, but every time I try to do that, something's going on on my table. Yeah. All right, so let's just jump in with. Uh, let me zoom in here a little bit better. All right, we're going to do the initiative phase. I'm actually going right. to copy this right into the thing. So we're doing the initiative phase. We're looking at 4.1. Mm -hmm. So let's just go to. Yeah, I can duplicate it. Just kind of go to where I'm going and look in your yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, yeah. You because I will watch. Do. You could just watch in the screen. Yeah. First of all, let me make sure that I'm sharing everything right. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, yeah. you are sharing. <clears throat> yeah, for the, for all the, right. So during the initial phase, fine. players determine which wing at, which wing activates first, which is kind of interesting. Which is very yeah. Great. What? <laughs> Oh, sorry. Uh, so, what's the wing? Because I uh, I think that is activation of the wing is wing like the adjacent some adjacent units. Let me go grab the let me grab the playbook. Okay, real quick. Is there is there a definition of the wing in game? The typical army of yeah, this era the, was composed. The, uh, I see it. Yeah, I'm reading it. The typical yeah. army of this era was composed of three wings: right, center, and left. So memoir. Yeah, but what you need to do <laughs> is look up. Where's Edge Hill? Is that the first one? Yeah, here's Edge Hill. All right, so here's the here are the wings right here. Ah, okay, um, it's, it's like this. Fine. Right. Go ahead and download that if, in case you need. Yeah, it. I, I opened it both. So from let's from go take a look at what we are here. All right, these are the royalists yeah. over here. And it's uh, Edge Hill, right? Yeah, this is Edge Hill. It's a relatively um, it's a relatively balanced battle. Honestly, it could have gone either way. Uh, you got a bunch of musketeers on the on the periphery here. You okay, so so the, I don't like yeah. how I don't I wish these were I don't I do, know very how do you see it? What? Like you're in it. Let me let me let me um is there a way to pick sides here? Uh in this one you might not have sides to pick. Yeah but just I just don't because... like that these are all upside down. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. Uh, okay. Right. Well, there's Byron. There's. But they need to be because I think there's a front. Right. Because, yeah. Because yeah. Because these units right. have but... frontage, right? So they need right, to be but, upside down. You know, whatever. <laughs> um. Yeah. Whatever. Um. Uh, I guess then, just for just for, do you want me to be the royalist? I can. You, you the... can be royalist to the. At the bottom, the I, I can take I, I can take the guys that are upside down. I don't no. I don't mind sure? reading them upside down. Okay, yeah, right, then I'll be a parliament then. So the parliament <laughs> was uh, led by the Lord General. This is uh, Essex, right? Right. So he's down yonder. Let's see who else we got here. We got Ramsey on the left wing. Uh, I'm a little bit. Uh, <gasps> I know very oh. little of the period see the, and, you see and the, the combat and how the combat was performed in this let's period. Go take a, very let's go take a quick look at just the these right here. Uh, um, the statistics. Yeah, just to kind of tell you. So you get the icon, get the name of name of the unit. Okay. It's usually a brigade. Uh, battle abbreviation. Uh, what is the battle?
Okay, everything is at the. It's means. icon name battle. Oh, right. I don't Wing. know what that means. I will find it. Morale rating, strength points are probably the important. Wing one. morale and strength. But what the because hell? Because I I see do? light infantry does not have battle abbreviation. Mm. Is it important right now? I I would you know. Let's ignore what it is. We will see while it's playing weird. probably. No, just just go point by point. Let's see if we can just figure it, it out. It, kind of it might be it might be some way they were fighting in. I guess maybe because right, it's, it's, it's heavy. It's, it's heavy infantry. Here's an E. Um, Cavalry. Maybe... Maybe it's just some sort of short code for that unit. Probably. It's, not, it's not mentioned anywhere else. That's the weird thing. What about the abbreviation? Oh, yeah. it's not nowhere. Like oh, it's just okay. not. It's just why is it so prevalent? Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, maybe maybe it's an abbreviation in the glossary. No. No, there's nothing like this in the glossary. Maybe it's musketeers versus No. <laughs> All right, whatever. I guess we're gonna ignore that until it's used. Well, that's, until it's, exactly. That's let's, weird. Let's not, okay. let's not overthink it. Let's, yeah, let's go But this is floor. okay, so what I'm trying to represent here is somebody walking in into a convention and somebody hands them the sequence of play, right? Because that's ultimately how you have to play a game. You have I to be able. I know, but let's let's just go. Then you know, mm. each each right, uh, each right, phase. So, so in yeah. the playbook, the um, setup. Please mm, determine which wing activates injuries by the order currently assigned right to right each wing. Ah, so we need to give right them here. orders. Okay. Yeah, but it's the folks that are charging that gets to get to do the wing first. So it would be the royalists that go first. So you actually would, you will pick a wing. So which is fine because then you can pick a wing. Who do you want to activate first? Your left, your center, or your right? Uh, I would, because I have no idea how this was fought. Let's say I would activate my right, which probably okay, so is all of all of all, all of this. Things. Yeah. Oh, okay. without them. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, just kind of highlight mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right here for everyone watching. All right. So. Mm -hmm. There is no tiebreaker. Let's the player with the most wings under charge chooses which to activate. Okay. So no Which one. The now, wing, if the there are no here. wings, yeah. with the most wings, under receive order activate. Do, do, do. Oh, okay, whatever. Okay, so then, so then, if you're tied, you do it by wing commander rating, which is cool too. Oh yeah, nice. Makes sense. And for some reason, the wing the ratings are negatives. Negatives are better. Okay. All right. Yeah. So let's go to the. Let me. Play. I am gonna, I am gonna pull down that damn uh. thing because it'll be a lot easier for me to. Okay, so that is activation phase. Just hold on, let me yeah, yeah, get sure. this to a point where I can actually run it. All right, so here's the order of play. Let's keep this in front of us. God darn it. No, didn't want to do that. All right. <clears throat> ah, the phasing player can either activate a non-finished wing or pass. The phasing player. You are the phasing player, and you're activating your first one. All right, preemption attempt. When a wing is activated, the inactive player may attempt to interrupt that activation in order to activate one of his wings first. If the attempt is successful, mark the preempted wing with the bypass marker. Uh, right. Uh, where are you? Let's go. <laughs> no, wait, because activation phase, right? We we let's say we've finished. Right, but I can preempt you. Okay, the phasing player can either, but here's the thing, the phasing player can either activate an unfinished wing or pass. 
C4 two for the sequence wings must be activated in. So I guess we ignore that for now. When that activation is finished, and you continue activation. The player may activate alternate. Uh, so I'm not on rally orders. So are you looking at my screen? Just look at. Yeah, I'm looking. Okay. All right. So here's the preemption rule. May attempt to interrupt of the phasing. You're the phasing and activate when it's on. This is known as preemption. Preemption attempts are allowed before a normal wing activation and after continuation attempts. Preempting a normal one. The inactive player consults the preemption table. Let me go see if, let me see if the vassal has that. Where are my tables? Turn tables. No. I don't think so, Dave. The, I I don't see any tables here. All right, well, I have I have them here. So continuation and preemption table. <clears throat> Current order being make ready. I'm assuming. Let's go look at the. I guess uh, everyone right, has again. make ready at the beginning. We're receive charge. Okay, so we're receive charge. So I can only preempt on a zero through two. But um, don't I see you may attempt. You you do not need to do this, right? Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to figure out what how what okay. I would do. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna do it right now, but whatever. Yeah. Okay. So there's there's a table there. I mean, I don't want you to chart you know, whatever. I'm ready for your charge. So that, that I think that's that's the whole thing. Like if I was if I was in a rally mode, I wouldn't be able to do it. Right. Uh, this this is actually a pretty cool rule set. Yeah. Um meaning that like if my left wing wanted to preempt you I could, based on, based on being in a receive charge state um, for preemption, I just need a zero through two. So let me just roll a dice real quick to see what I get. No, I wouldn't get it anyway. What happens if you fail it? Let's go look at that. This sounds, how it is written, it sounds kind of convoluted, but maybe it's not. Because preempting a normal activation, so this is the situation we have, right? Pretty much. The inactive oh, player consults the table. That's what I did. Uh -huh. mm, I die applies modifiers. If successful, he, he does things. Uh -huh. uh, if it fails, but... here's, here, here it is. No continue, so I need to mark it with if the preemption fails, the leader of it might must have a no continue a leader mark no continue may act by norma who is not allowed to attempt continuation so that's interesting yeah uh, i don't know what continuation is so far um, but I yeah, assume look it's at our... some... i have some continuation uh, is some momentum you gain right you can continue you can do up to three Oh, concert, like yeah, it's really cool. Moves? It's oh, a that's cool. cool. Game. Yeah, um, where the hell is the... Because you can also, I see, preempt a continuation and you can you preempt see, a pre you, Are you looking at my <laughs> screen? Where the hell is the... No, how it's called? No continue. Oh, yeah. Maybe, oh, there's a different... There's a different set based on which game, which thing you're doing. But where the hell is no continuation? I have a feeling it might be on the other side of bypassed. You're right. You are correct, sir. Very good. So what I'm, I, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and simulate this, right? That my guy tried to preempt and right. he can't, so he can't, he's not gonna be able to continue. I see you can also preempt the continuation, preempt the preemption. Um, but only only the bypass leader may attempt to preempt the preemptive leader's continuation. Okay, so I guess we need to yeah, just there's like a, go, there's go like further. A short, there's a short oh, you mean you want to try to preempt preempt? No, I don't fail. I don't want to. No, 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 I don't want you to. You would only do that if if you were when bypassed. has been active the inactive player may attempt to You would only do that if you you would only do that when I got it. And I tried to continue, then you would be able to preempt it. Yeah, I need to read the. That's cool. Through. That's cool. cool. It's like a, it's like if I preempted you, then I get to do my one action, but I don't get to continue. Mm -hmm. it, you can preempt my my second action, my continuation. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Not 
fully, okay, so but go, I will yeah, when you will it. move through. Yeah, because no, let's just go through it. You you activated. I right? activated my wing. Right, I, and you I preemption pre attempt. attempt. So wait, so so, so so go to the sequence, okay? So everyone can see it. So, uh, so we have activation yeah. phase. You tried to preempt my wing activation. Now orders change. The activated wing may attempt to change its current orders. Mm -hmm. I guess co current orders is like ready, right? Or right now you're in like charge. That. What type? What type of orders there are, and what type of orders they start with? How do I know they are in charge? From the scenario, That's... right here, uh... you start your historical order. Your orders are ah okay ah uh, okay fine. You you, you yeah. should you should lead with that. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ah, um, so royalists all, all have charge. Fine. Okay, that's cool. At least cool. to start with, and you can change yeah, that yeah, order yeah. if you want. Okay, so I probably so, won't. Charge sounds like things sounds I want to do right now. It, right. it, it sounds like go. something I want to do. So if I do, don't change order, let's I go look at action. this section now. Let's go look at that real quick. Five yeah. seven. Yeah, five seven. Changing when mm -hmm. only an active wing may attempt to change its order. So only during the order change segment. Okay, it must be attempt before any units in the wing perform any action. It's page eight. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. at the bottom. It's at the bottom of page eight. Mm -hmm. mm, I right, see so you. Okay. Hold on. Are you, I mean, you're gonna keep it, right? But I will keep it. You just wanted to look at it. So proceed to change order. Yeah, go ahead. And, go ahead and speak it. That's fine. I'm, I'm, I highlighted it. Go ahead and speak it if you want. To change orders, yeah, with my great accent. Uh, That's fine. <laughs> I don't know. To change orders, the phasing player consults the order change table and cross-reference the active wing's current orders with the desired orders. Roll the die and apply any applicable modifiers. If the wing is successful in changing its orders, then the order are in effect for the activation. Wing that fails to change must activate under its current orders. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not possible uh, to make certain orders change. Oh, I like that. That's, yeah, that's there's a lot of really cool rules in this. It's just, it's sincerely a very good game. I because uh, you have tables, I I assume the modifiers um, are on the uh, no no I yes, assume the modifiers right on the here. table because I wonder. I got it right I, here. I oh, hope, kinda. I hope, and I guess the commander of a wing. There's also a order modifier. restriction. Let's, let's look at fifty five six. Um, there's also a, oh, here's all the orders. Okay. Let's, let's recharge. Yeah. Let's go ahead and recharge. Because yeah. Because my guys okay. are in charge. And all if right. I don't change orders from I see it's finish, uh, no, no, chase. Oh. oh yeah. Perform actions. Each unit in the active wing may perform within the limitation of its orders. One and only one of the following actions, move, move and or fire pistol fire. Normal. Where is it? Where, where are you saying that? Now, uh, in the uh, sequence of play, right. I'm checking on the sequence. Yeah, but basically, yeah, but... I I have charge order. Yeah, let's let's go there. Right, but where, where? Okay, so what perform I'm actions? To find... Perform yeah, actions. You're, you're in a charge order. Yep. So I'm trying to find out where is the where is the list of things you can and can't do because I don't see that. There's I I have a I have an orders restriction chart. Oh, here it is right here. It's oh, it's on the table. Yeah, it's on a table. Here, I'll just kind of describe it. Okay. Right, for for charge, you can move full, must end at least one hex closer to the enemy that is not already engaged. Except okay. LI and unformed cavalry need not move adjacent to the front of an enemy heavy infantry. Units may not pass use retreating fire nor use withdrawal in reaction movement okay so in other words you okay when i'm looking at the chart under order charge you can move full and then there's a, a footnote of one and that's what i just read you can fire yes you can reform no rally no so the two things you cannot do are reform or rally you basically can move and fire okay yeah. Yeah. And I'm looking at the movement now. So really move, cool. movement allowance, yeah, it's it's cool. Movement allowance I see is based on the type. Uh, uh, um, kind right. of. You are set. You are 
it says full and it has a, co a footnote of one and I'm, i'll read it one more time must end at least one hex closer to the closest enemy unit that is not yeah, already sure. engaged there are some exceptions to that units may not pass use retreating fire nor use withdraw in reaction movement by pass you mean i i can just say that unit doesn't move right oh uh, right be... correct correct they have okay. to go towards them which makes okay. sense yeah it's kind of neat it's kind of neat yeah yeah these rules are good all right i guess they have a winner here that's been around for 10 years plus all right <laughs> um and still being played apparently which is kind of neat to see it's very cool to see Okay, what I didn't check because these guys I have here because what, from what I see in the rule book on the page eleven, movement allowances uh, are based on the type of of unit. Initially, they move one at a time. Of course, there is no movement cost adjacent. Yeah, yeah, they have to have movement. Hurt. Okay, here we go. Movement allowances. Okay. So you're able to do your full movement, which I'm assuming means you can do up to your MPs, right? And right. I'm wondering if on this, I'm wondering if on the map it shows you the movement allowances. No, I have it over here. So just, you got open terrain over there anyway. But let me see something. Movement costs. Clear one. What are you, Cav mostly? Everybody over there is Cav? That's, yeah, I don't know what that is. No, I these, are all, light... these are all, these are all, these are all, Okay, I thought so it is have... light infantry or infantry. No, I. I this didn't... is heavy. This is these are light. How do you distinguish that by the, the silhouette? Icon. Or... Just the silhouettes. Yeah, the icon. Okay. Yeah. So here, it might help. I don't know if you're seeing my. Are you seeing my mouse move? I see your mouse. Yes. Okay. So this guy right here. God, I wish. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit better. That's better. Yeah. All right. Um. So Ger Gerard here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, heavy, heavy if I... oh sorry I... you don't have to i mean we're gonna finish as much as we can and we'll save it so yeah yeah, yeah. Sure. however much time yet right. no i just wanted because i can't distinguish what what okay, are these this guys is heavy. they are cavalry okay it's no it's these, heavy these individual ones are heavy these these guys are light so this is kind of like a combined this is usually a brigade of pike and um okay musketry right which is a little weird that it's a little weird that heavy is i guess I no, know, they are they are weird. like close order because yes, i see correct. on the on the more to the left is light Maybe... infantry are these guys in the open order i guess let's That's... go look here let's see if there's a better description of this Although here, no, right this here. is no, this is cavalry. I think well, that's weird because I, I don't know how to. Yeah, what's the description types? There are three uh, types of playing pieces. You need to represent the regiments and begin right here. Infantry, you. cavalry, artillery. Okay. If you want to just read, look at what I'm showing. Mm -hmm. Um, you have some, and then this is probably this. This is possibly the. Okay. Light infantry, small bodies of musket armed foot soldiers. They are this period skirmishers. Interesting. Since they did not have pikes, they avoid what? Oh that that doesn't uh, I don't that doesn't make sense. No, because I think it's cavalry. Because this? But it's Oh not, you're it's, right. You're correct. Yeah, I think it's you're not right. it's not well described. I think you need to look at the icon because if you look at the icons in the rule book, the heavy infantry has like this so one, we have no heavy one drawing. Infantry. Yeah, that so one, there is one, no heavy infantry here. I don't I think like so, because two units and there is cavalry. Yeah, Waller's definitely cav. Yeah, I remember Waller. Ah, OK, you know what? Because cavalry indicator is this very slight. Uh, I would distinguish it. it. You have in the background of cavalry, you have this stripe that goes uh, down. You're right. But you're right. it's very slight. It's yeah, very slight it color. I see it right there. I see that. Yeah. yeah, that's that's the cavalry indicator, right. but is... the rule book doesn't look very good because pictures are low quality and I was stumped for a second. Okay, so this is cavalry and this open order guys I think is this is light infantry, actually. I don't know what they do there, but you know what? Let... Yeah, you know what? I was looking at this wrong because they, these are the headers. Yeah. These are the headers. So examples of heavy infantry 
These are these Dude, are that's both, heavy. These are both heavy. These are both heavy infantry. Okay. This is a brigade, and this is like a separate an an independent unit. That's the difference. This is a brigade, and this is a separate. This is a separated heavy infantry. You see that? Yeah. I think that's what it is. We don't have any of these. We don't have any of these no. heavy separated independent units okay. that I so see. This, so these are. In other words, we're forming brigades. These are cavalry. Yeah. These are cavalry. So they have eight movement points, from what I see. Right, and I don't see anything that's gonna impede you there thicket vineyard yeah. garden i don't i don't think any of the that is thickets or anything those are just roadways with hedges so you can go across those i think let me see some hexide well here that that's just the yeah, roads I, I seen the example the example excuse yeah. me a hedge hexide does add one formation do not apply. a formation hit do not apply to it Okay, if you go across a hedgerow, you take a formation hit. What's a formation hit? Let's go look at a formation hit. It's saying no. that if you go across these hedgerows, you're going to take a formation you hit. Formation hit. I, because I, I'm looking at the example of movement, it doesn't cost to move through right, it. Where, from what I see. where are you seeing that? What page? Uh, on page 11 in the rule book. That, that is an example. Then musketeering will pay additional MP to cross the. Oh no, they pay additional to cross the hedge. Ah, okay, I thought this is. Oh, I I thought this two MP is, is like Kali of their own. Let's let's uh, let's look at this uh, example movement. The cavalry unit and the musketeer unit both pay an additional MP to cross a hedge and to rotate one vertex. The hedge causes a formation hit on the cavalry, but not on the light infantry. Yeah, that what does is, that mean? That what is the formation? Seven hit? seven three. If you, if you move up, seven three is movement and formation hits. This whole paragraph is. All right, let's read this then. Open order or in column. You you get it if you are not in open order or in column. I guess that's okay. that's we. So I want right. to do the. Do not apply any hit if a unit start the scenario with such a hex. Okay, well, such hits are applied. Oh, such hits are applied. It's the movement effect of a formation hit is applied after movement. In other words, a unit's movement point allowance is determined when the unit begins to move. And should the unit's formation state change during movement, the unit retains the movement points it had when it started. Thus, a cavalry unit that starts stacked with a light infantry has a movement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's oh, here it is, right here. A unit must stop moving as soon as it incurs a formation hit that causes it to become a formation broken. Where is the formation? A formation normal, formation. There's three different. There's three different formation states: normal, shaken, and broken. So I'm assuming that makes it shaken. So the information state change in the point. points. That's cavalry. Okay, exception. Makes this sense. Unit pursues, retreats, or advances. It makes sense. I just try to look how this affects the game. A unit can continue. Okay, so even right if here. they receive the only thing I. Yeah. Oh. See that right there? This is an interesting example right there. It mm -hmm. says a formed cavalry unit that moves down a steep slope and across the stream. Would incur two formation hits and stop. Stop moving as soon as it incurs a formation hit that causes it to become formation broken. Ah, uh, so yeah, okay. So there are two different states. So when you go across one thing, <laughs> you take the first one. So you're just shaking um, half ma. So then. Okay, but how do you mark it? But because from what I see, you can certain types of uh, terrain effect chart. This formation is with a time a unit's not in open order or in column enters or crosses such terrain. Uh, not apply hits even start. Okay, while such hits are applied immediately, the movement effects of the formation is applied after. So I perform so my every time you. Land. Yeah. Okay. I think I understand it now. So like, okay. So let's just say this guy right here is moving, right? Um. So he's gonna go one, two, three, four. He becomes 
shaken, which halves my movement. So at that point, I have to stop, right? Because at that no, point, I uh, no, I don't mm -hmm. think so. Well, uh, wow. yeah, while well, because here's how it goes: while such hits are applied immediately, the movement effect of a formation hit is applied after movement is completed. In other words, a unit's movement point allowance is determined when the unit begins to move. And should the unit's formation state change during movement, the unit retains the movement points it had when it started moving. Okay, so so, okay, so this so does not this five, affects you when so, you finish. But movement. they are shaken. But they are. Yeah, what? they are shaken, but it will affect yeah. their mo movement allowance next turn, not na right now. The movement okay, allowance. So that, that's how. Yeah, how do how that? do you? Yeah, but how you do, do you? That. Oh wait. You, or this, is it... you change the state of the formation to shaken. So right now they're shaken because they went across one How do you thing. Change that? Morale, you right -click formation. And hit formation. It's formation. Okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. So this guy's shaken right now. Um, but he went four, but he can go another four, and as long as he doesn't hit another and as long as he doesn't four. Go well this, right now right now I think he moved five. Yes. Because one, one, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, and six, he can move. seven. He have to stop here, otherwise he's gonna take another. I think if he tries no, to but cross he, that. but wait, but he can move six, seven. I think because once I see, and even eight, he wants to. Yeah, he can do that. Or he, yeah, or, he... or here because right. yes. the, he he's not crossing. Yes, right? but he keeps that. Right? Is there a way? Is is there yeah, something he, to he... recover that? Probably in some to... phase. Probably in some phase later. I bet. Then you should go to next. That's really phase. That's an interesting. That's really cool, actually. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I mean, I'm so amazed. This is probably like board gaming 101, but but it is. <laughs> it's really nice. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Um, the move, yeah, okay. I mean, like for a for an otherwise simple, you know, game mm -hmm. format, if you want, um, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so that okay, guy's moved. So you want to move another one? Two, three, mm -hmm. four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. And he's so empty. Uh, does this house? Okay, I will just avoid no, this house. Just... <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They can, they can just. So yeah, but basically, I can just do that, right? Yeah, pretty much. Which. And they move and four seven know, here, and they activate work. also these guys, right? Because they are yeah, they are right. light infantry. They have like six movement points from type C. Right. So go ahead and do it. And I don't think that they're and they not. I I don't think they take this hit because they are in open order. I assume they look like in open order, right? Mm -hmm. Those are heavy infantry. No, those are light. No, yeah. those are. They are light. Yeah. They are light, yeah. and this looks like you know they are in open order. But when I look, they look like light infantry, not heavy. They're dragoons, aren't they? No, no well, I, I will. I will later read this. Musketeers. It. it sounds fun. Yeah, you might want to move your leader too. Ah, oh, right. What what the leader has? Uh... What, what movement? Talans. It, it, he has six at least, right? Yeah, I think so. I think he can keep up with them. Just kind of. I, he so. should be able to keep up with them, right? I don't know though why he is on the junction. I I will just move him here because that makes sense. He should be able yeah. to be here. Uh, and I will place him on the junction. Apparently, this is how you place him. Mm, I guess. Okay, you know what? I will. I will need to read this, and uh, I. I am. Okay, let's let's say it's like this for now. So that would be. Yeah, let's let's just ballpark it. Yeah. So that's your that's your wing movement. Um, yeah, close combat. Does that also mean I don't think he's within fire. Uh, I don't know. Let's go look at fire the range ranges. Fire? I, I definitely don't think they are. They probably need to be within like two, probably at least. Um, probably. I don't know how large the hex is, but looking how many people fit into it, it will need probably be two two hexes away. <laughs> so, 
stacking. One or two strength light um, infantry. It looks like two cav units may stack together momentarily to perform cavalry incorporation. 8.4. Well, I, I will not go into that. <laughs> well, cavalry incorporation. Let's just read that because I'm sitting here reading it. Uh, if a cavalry unit has taken casualties, it may incorporate other cavalry units to replace some or all of its losses, yeah. but never more than its printed strength. So that's actually pretty cool. That's actually really yeah. cool. Yeah, so you can, you, you, you can reconstitute them, basically, yeah. if you have losses. Okay. See, this is where I think people don't under, don't realize that, at least within the last 10 or 20 years of board gaming, you know, honestly, they've, begun, they've gotten tremendously better, I think. Like, in other words, it's no longer just a CRT. You know what I mean? Like, there's a yeah. lot of... And it's it's just a maturity of the board gaming. I think that people need to give it give it another chance if they've only been doing miniatures, for example. No, board gaming is fine. It's I mean this um, type this especially that this I don't know if this one is, but most of these games are like polished games from well, you know SPI from yeah, the usually, 80s. I don't think in this case it is. I think the musket and pikes from about maybe the early musket and pike. I don't think so, but it looks very old school. Ago, I think. I need um, to then... play SPQR. I need to read the rules for SPQR. It looks like this, but it's you know ancient times. So like, what I want to do is one. let's let's try to get. Um, let's you try want to, to get shoot or, or perform some combat? So wait, if I finish this, uh, I finish this. This is close to if... because after that is like close combat units attack adjacent. We don't have this continuation attempt. The activated wing may attempt to activate a second or third time. Yeah. If the attempt is successful, return to step A. That's right, so let's cool. try that. Let's try that. Four, four point now three. here's the thing. Oh yeah, I would I think I can I don't know if I can um I'm because I I have a no continue. Now my my question though is whether I can preempt your continuation. I think I can attempt you it. can try Wait, uh, yeah, know. the question is because do you do you try to preempt me? The, yeah, check if you need. I, I will check the continuation. You check if you need to type try to preempt me before I try to continue. I think. I mean, I mean, do you need to wait till I am successful? And if no. I'm not, you just ignore well, it? Probably okay. not. Yeah, probably right. Um, I don't think so. Hold on. When a wing has been activated. Okay. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's not four dot three. I don't think it is. I think the preemption is only the preemption is only. No, there is there um, is an option to preempt the continuation. Okay. Kind of. Yeah, I've seen it. That. There's. Yeah, preemption. Uh, go go uh, to right. four point four. Yeah, it is right here. Four point four three. Four four three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The inactive player may attempt to preempt a wing after the active player has successfully. Ah, but the only if I successfully rolled for continuation. All right, you so can go try ahead. To do so it. let's so go first, find that table. There is a table. Continuation. Apply any applicable modifiers. Is it all false okay, You need the a range. zero to three. So roll a d10, and you need a zero or one, two, or three. By the way, zero is zero in this game. Does mm -hmm. what, what? Are there any modifiers? Um. I assume my commander your should... commander rating. It's minus two, right? Well, so... that will that will that will take two off of your roll. Yeah. So and I need to have zero two it's three. A cavalry, so I need it's to a have cavalry zero... wing. So sure. You get so I need another to have one. zero to five, right? I I meant no. You actually need zero to six because you're also a cavalry wing. Is another. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, wait, okay. Hold so on. I meant... Hold on. Hold on. Applicable to continuation only. Um. Yeah. Second, so, if it's a second attempt, it's it's this, the first one. This is the first one. All right. So the first one you don't get a modifier, but the second one you there is a plus one modifier. So go uh, ahead and roll. Is that still, you? Still, still, I yeah, I roll. Right, so that means so you're I, Yeah, but you. So then, try then to I try to right? preempt it, right? And I let's see. If, the inactive player. This is like my second preempt. attempt. This is my second attempt to preempt you, right? So uh -huh. I do get a plus one on my thing. And I am in a received charge, so I need a zero through two, but at a, but at my plus one on my die roll because the of the second point. attempt, right? Mm -hmm. So let me roll. Let me just roll. Okay, so I don't get it because 
um, first of all, this would become a four because it's my second attempt and I okay. need a zero through two. So I did not get it. So I did not preempt you. So you can continue. Okay, so I can run you. You might as well just do it. You probably wouldn't in reality, right? Necessarily, but not yeah. maybe not i don't know i i never played it i don't know how combat in this period well i'm just I saying absolutely that have, all i, I have no idea here. i mean i'm just yeah. saying yeah, yeah I, I you'll say i would be too far away <laughs> mm, i i maybe. definitely think you might want to do one more of these but at that point you might want to change your wing right because you might want to pass to your other wings because maybe um, i don't know how it works let's let's try something stupid and fast and because Oh my! What I don't under what I don't ah, know. Ah right, because ah right, but if I cross another uh, another <clears throat> thing, I will be uh, like broken, right? Oh no! I'm just... Yeah, let's let's say I do not. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out when when you when do you change to the when do you change to the active person. When do you flip to the phasing player? You mean flip to the... Uh, okay. When do I get to I, go? I, I think after <laughs> continuation... I think when my commander finishes... Right. The... But does that flip? Hold on. Generally, players alternate between active player and the inactive player. Yeah. Um, so you're the active player. Yeah. I am active, and I will finish when I finish my movement basically does that mean does that mean that the next wing that's activated would be one of your charging ones i think so. i don't know let let's check okay let's say i finish here because my guys need to you know get together so i think right. what i seen i i flip my commander to finished and that's i i could right. move towards you and rush All right, you so at this probably. point at this point who activates the, Yep, that's you're a, you're still the phasing player. Oh, okay. The inactive player may attempt or pass, to pass. Pass. Pass is four five. Hold on. What is pass four five? Let's go look at pass because yeah. you can pass if you wanted to. Passing rather than activate a wing, the phasing player may instead pass. It's four point five. Uh, exception: you cannot pass if the wing is under charge orders. Mm. Uh, flip the right. pass. Oh, so I I guess I will need He's, to activate everyone. You have to. You have to at least try to do it all. All right. Is that what you want to do? You don't have to. I just wanted to know. Oh, because right. Because here here here's the thing. If you if you look at the procedure of initiative determination, because initiative is apparently not for like the side, but for the wings, because if wings have charge order you need to perform all of them pretty much right you right uh, right now you don't have anyone under charge order so during the initiative phase the place determine which wing activates first initiative is determined by the orders assigned the player with the most wings under charge orders uh which eligible wing to activate all charges chooses which eligible wing to activate first if there are no wings under charge or the player with the most yeah the yeah, the yeah. okay so i activate each wing may activate once uh, uh, between activation okay because you have activation procedure 4.2 let me read it mm -hmm. activation alternates between players as long as all wings under higher precedence orders are finished before any wings okay so that's how it works so the the precedence order of orders is charge make ready receive charge rally so we activate uh, you, uh what's the word uh, so we alternate activating but for now we alternate activating everyone that is under charge order when we finish with all guys that are and and assuming you would have someone with charge order right now you would activate him right, but you I do get not right. so so when and we finish if you had any more like let's say i had one commander with charge i would yeah. do that person next no matter what and then yes. And then but, I finish, and then I move another another of my guys. Go to the four point two to to see uh, in the rule book. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, that's cool. 
that's interesting. So first that's we activate, yeah. we alternate activating everyone under charge, and then right. we alternate activating everyone under make ready. Yeah, yeah, and I get it. So forth. So, so far, I need so good. To, so far, so, so good. I need I'm to very activate, impressed. Yeah. So I need to activate the rest of the guys, right? Because you have no one under charge, and we need to finish right. all of them. And then your guys are make ready. I think that was the what the rule book right. said. So Whatever it correct. will be. Correct. Okay, so but you can still preempt, I think, right? Because for for instance, try. yes. So now I will activate this wing. Let's say, right? Mm -hmm. So you can you can try to preempt it if you want it. If not, you know, I'm actually will... not going to because I want okay. to be able to continue later potentially. Yeah. See, that's the interesting thing. I mean, you got to kind of yeah, wonder, exactly. hey, do I want to save my potential? You know, to continue. Sure. Yeah. I mean that's that's this is pretty cool. That's I don't yeah I've never played a rule set that does that. Uh, it's very not fluid. not like this. I I know similar rule. I, I know games that use some similar concepts, but not like seizing initiative. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of like no yeah I I don't know. Yeah, but what's cool is it, exactly like it this. gives a lot more power to the commander. I like yes. it makes the commander more useful. Yes. Without it just being morale. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I got cold. Okay, going so on. my I'm guy, gonna I'm gonna mute myself while I sneeze. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, I got a full-on cold going on. Um, One, two, three, four. What I want to be able five, to do here is at six, least get us seven, into a point where eight. we can fire and maybe charge. Yeah. So this oh, is wow. what I would. Okay. Yeah, because they can move eight. I don't know if this plowed field does um, anything to my movement. I think what this does, it probably does. Let me go look at that as I burp on camera. Um, I can burp on cue too if you want. Burp. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Plow. Where are you? Ah, clear or plowed field? No, but it might have effects on. It might have effects on artillery. Okay, um, so I that actually that actually came into it. effect, by the way. Um, like what happened was like because it's a, if you stay in a plowed field, mm -hmm. it, the cannonballs won't bounce. Oh, okay. As much. Yeah, yeah it's kind of neat. I don't, know how, I don't know how they... Let, let's... Just for shits and giggles, let me look for plowed in here because I want to see if there is an effect on that because it actually was pretty significant. Should be, probably, or is it just for flavor? <laughs> um, no. It no, I would think that... It, it would wouldn't that, be there, right? I, what I think is that I think there's a rule for continuance on a cannon fire. Like, in other words, if you're targeting... Um, I think I think if like you're targeting this one and it and it and it's not and it's on a plowed field, it won't continue back and potentially hit one of these. Like if you miss one, you actually can hit somebody yeah. like right behind oh, it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they, Within they do. I I don't know. I, I'm I don't I'm I'm remembering this from <laughs> from the history of it, but from <laughs> no, yeah, just but... from other games. I'm trying to make sure I'm not mixing games but... up again. Let me see something. God. Yeah, I try to find it. It's it's not. Let me look at like. I'm trying to find. No, it. yeah, um... you, you know what? It's it's not in the rule book because I checked, but in the scenario, uh, in the scenario book, map features the stream and plowed field on the map are for historical interest only and have no effect <laughs> at all on play. <laughs> Thanks, thanks for thanks GMT for making me look like an idiot. <laughs> no, you can, not, you, can make some, you can you can make some you know house rule. Why not? Well, which stream though? Which stream does not affect the game? The well, the I, I could have sworn nothing? I remember. I could have sworn yes, I remember. There's a continuance of artillery. Like if you miss. You can hit one of units within an adjacent rear. You know what I mean? That, like another... that would make sense, absolutely. Right? Like That's if you how miss this, that... there is a chance of going this way or this way. That's, That's what I thought. That's I remember. pretty much the reason the artillery is deadly in this period, right? So well, it could it's deadly, but it's not... it can't be moved. Usually, 
And that's another thing I kind of learned the hard way because when I was playing Pike and Shot campaigns, the computer war game, right? What mm-hmm. I was, what it was killing me was that I can't move the fucking artillery. I can't move the artillery, <laughs> and, and like you know, because I'm used to being able to do it for Napoleonics at least to some degree. Yeah, right? not at this least, period. Uh, you you are here. you are dug in and you are dug oh, in. Oh yeah, that's they're it. heavy. They're extremely yeah. heavy. In other words, you have to. Yeah, it'd probably take a good hour or more to get it ready just to move. So, uh, whatever. <laughs> All right. Um, cool time okay. period, by the way. I, I, I've only just finally got into this. I've been researching Thirty Years' War, and yeah, um, I, I, I know War. very little about the combat yeah, I, in this period. That's what I like. I mean, so many people do. So many people. Napoleonic. Everyone yeah, does Napoleonic. World War II <laughs> and American Civil War. I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I'm right. Kinda, it's, I'm, uh, I'll, it's I'll play own. it. Yeah, I, I will I'll play it, but <laughs> I won't run one. Yeah, you know, I kind of want to no, run. No, I, I, I like to play something new and learn something like new. Stuff, and, yeah, especially I don't know a lot about Europe. You know, I, I, I will tell you in Europe. Oh, everyone loves Napoleonics. What right, sure, of course. Just like, not not many fans of American Civil War, do more than I thought actually. That yeah. is, well, that you might have some people like modern, you know, modern full the gap type stuff too. I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Oh, where, no, do, yeah. where do people in Europe not want to think about that? <laughs> No, you know I mean? oh, no, absolutely. No, no, we have mm. we have many people interested. All right, in so let's war. see. So you've so, moved all that. What I want to do before we get to yeah deep combat, but at wait, range, if I, I, if I perform range, where, yeah, there, but if I we... if I perform continuation, I can probably just ram you, right? I, I have right, enough movement let's, to let's because this mm. from what I see, this uh, what I have before me is. Infantry, right? And I think this is even heavy infantry. Yeah, heavy infantry. Right, but what we need to make sure. Um, how the close combat works. Well, how reactions work and kind of like they're. How, how we initiate it, right? The first thing. I guess I just if want to I. double check the range more than anything at this point. Before I, we go any further, I want to make sure we know what your, the ranges are for everything. Um, I'm losing you. What? Can you hear me? You're breaking up. Um, just at let least it for settle me, down maybe for it's my... I think it's your internet. Just, just. I hear you good. So. Oh, okay. You you returned. That's fine. Right, I, I have some breaking up. up on my yeah. end of the internet. All right. Um, what I don't know, I don't understand ranges. Let's go look at the fire table if it happens to mention anything. Like artillery, like artillery. Oh, here it is, right here. Here's your artillery range. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, they have three. There are okay. So the categories, the categories are three pound falcons, four. Okay, to but pounds. do you have artillery? I I see you have I only. I uh, yeah, you have one three pound, but it's on the other side of the battlefield. Right, but its range is. Pretty good. Oh, really? Um well uh, okay. yeah, it can go up to it can go up to nine hexes. Uh, now the only thing is the, it's probably out of arc, but I want to go find that. Let's go find that while we're sitting here thinking. You, you look through the arc, I will look if your infantry hell. gets too shot when I ram well, it. I also don't know what that range is, quite honestly. I don't know what this musketry range is. Yeah, that's that's um, what I will look for. Yeah, if you can look up that range, I'll look up the Arcs well, I movie. I mean I only have rule book, but I will look through the combat. I don't see rules. Yeah, I would have to imagine it has to be within Action, a hex exception, or two. Exception, general restrictions. Hex. Where the hell is it? Um. Okay, because you have general restrictions, so there is the okay, action. Here's the ma- yeah, so the artillery has the maximum range on it, right? There's a grazing range yep. and there's a maximum range. So yeah, you have look nine. Here. I think. three is the grazing range, which is probably like the canisterish type range. I don't know. Kind of, yeah. Actually, name for it then. So I can go up to nine. So actually, you know, I could fire on these cavalry if I wanted to. Um. Okay. I just don't know when I can do that. So, yeah, it, I'm I think it's worthwhile because to there stop is, because, and think about that. Okay, yeah. you know what? So let's go because what uh, in 9.0 there is reaction. So you can perform reaction, and there is. I'm reading the whole paragraph about the reaction. All right, well, uh, why don't I go plan... to where you're at and we read it together? Um, yeah, sure. It's page 13. 
All right. Reaction in general, if you want to read it. Go, why don't we alternate yeah. reading things? You, you, you uh, go ahead and read this one. Under certain Here. conditions, I, I would skip the reaction in general, I think. Under certain conditions, oh, although, okay, let's go with it. Under certain conditions, the inactive player may interrupt his opponent's current activation to react with his inactive units. Reaction mm -hmm. by an inactive is permitted only when triggered by specific activations of an active unit occurs in the initiative unit's reaction zone. zone. Yeah, zones are I so see later. Let's go look at, let's just take a quick there look. There are some exceptions. Reaction zones, 9.12, yeah. Reaction zones vary depending on the oh, type cool. of unit. So I can do that. I can do a counter battery. Oh, artillery unit may reaction fire to enemy fire to enemy fire. So ah, so you can only react with artillery to my fire up to its maximum range. Counter battery so fire. And reaction fire to and reaction fire to other triggers up to its grazing fire. By the way, by the way, we were looking for this. It says it says the reaction for the frontal arc is yeah. on page 19. Let's go take a quick look and I'll come back. We're going to come sure. back to 14. We're going to 19. Here we go. Frontal arc is basically you go out one, go out one, and you keep going out. So right here, go out one. So we got here. So my, my arc is right here, basically. Yeah. So you can, so you I can, can react any of these. Yes, but front I see you can only with artillery you can perform reaction fire up to only your normal against, uh, uh, yeah against artillery yeah only yeah, for, for counter, counter battery, battery at your longest range uh, so to the other side you have grazing range right so if you had come up here and you were within three of this arc then yeah. like up to about here this this yeah, any because, of these hexes I could do okay it. let's let's go. Okay further because a non-artillery unit may reaction fire into any hex adjacent to its front or flank and now there is a number of triggers that trigger reaction no wait so, hold on a second i'm sorry were you saying that's for artillery or infantry or muscle no now for infantry no you know what go back no for uh, for artillery you can only fire to your normal yeah. range if i fire my artillery you can counter fire your artillery uh so I, I think we can move from artillery further right <laughs> mm. well, because like because non-artillery units may reaction fire into hexes that are in its front or flank and are adjacent and it has to be adjacent it, it has to be adjacent and the That's triggers and there are triggers that trigger it there are movement triggers an active unit enters any hex in the inactive unit's reaction zone by normal movement advancing or retreating or cavalry artillery yada 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 an active unit and an advance or pursue an active unit changes facing so if i perform any movement adjacent to your unit you can reaction fire uh, reaction oh. movement. <laughs> No, no, there are no, no, there are just triggers. There are triggers to because you have reaction, and it is triggered by movement. Oh, if you if you look lower now, you have like movement triggers, and you have non-movement triggers that trigger the reaction. Uh, okay, so if I move, example, two hex units. Well, what is the reaction to... zone for the infantry? It's, it's yeah, from what only. I see, it's what it's only adjacent. If right, if okay. you look a non a non second second bullet point above triggers, you have a non artillery unit may reaction fire mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. any hex adjacent to its front or flank. Mm -hmm. So if I activate, what about, what about cavalry that have pistols and so forth? Oh, there is something like this. I it's guess. a salvo. I think it's called a salvo move. And uh, on an eligible unit may perform reaction movement. No, that's here. It is right move. here. Ten two. Uh, okay. Pistol fire. You mean I can pistol fire you? I, I charge you. You can pistol whip me if you want, but oh yeah, sure. If if I get close enough. Yeah. Um... <laughs> okay. A cavalry unit can only fire one pistol during a movement exception. An active unit that is intercepted may fire during the interception. This is what I was asking about before. They're this basically the equivalent of like 
Okay, because I would I would move right now through the procedure because I, I would try to activate again with my cavalry that I activated now. Right. They are not mm -hmm. they are not shaken, so I will try to charge you, and you can then you know fire. Up. Reactionary fire with the musketeers. Yeah, let's try that. You want to try that? Yeah, try that. Try it, and that's that's where we'll stop, and then we'll read the rule. Yeah, the, we'll so but we are, we assume <clears throat> but we assume I no with the guys on the on the. So on okay, my let's left let's. Flank. No, no, let's let's go to the guys on my left guys? flank. Yeah, yeah, because they activate once, they are not shaken because guy on the right are shaken, right? So let's leave them where they are so okay. i would try these guys right okay and i would need to roll to activate them second time All right, let me go do we assume the, or, or do we assume they uh, i roll date so probably they that would be no fail. okay so let's just say you, you got it let's say yeah let's let's say i got right. it right and they it. Can... so now you're doing your continuation All right um, you could try to preempt me if you, you want probably. you also I'm not going to just so we can get yeah. a get a fire in One, here. Two, three, <laughs> four. Now my question though is, I don't know okay. how this works, now, right? Because about, these guys are not in range, right? You're saying that none. Of I these, don't think so. I don't oh, I don't know. No, definitely no. not to react. They are not in range range to react. What about interception? I don't know. I don't know because what these it is. Are I, I didn't know you can head like that. <laughs> yes, you could intercept. I could. I'm assuming that I can intercept with these guys. I would assume you let's can intercept with your cavalry. Oh, these two guys. That would make sense. Yes. Okay. Let's check. Let's just check that before we do the charge. Info. First let's time I see about this rule. So let's go. <laughs> okay. You uh, do. You do have to. You do have to mark them. So I'm assuming there's going to be something. Right. I, I'm. I'm um, trying to find the base of interception. Okay, interception, eligibility, an inactive cavalry unit. Where, which, it's, oh, sorry, a 9.3. It's all right, like, let me get there and then just read from my screen. Just so we're all honest. Yeah, it's page 15. Oh, yeah, you, here he is 9.3. Mm -hmm. So, an inactive mm. cavalry unit may attempt to intercept an active enemy unit if the following conditions are met. Then, enemy unit performs a movement trigger and when anywhere within four hexes of a friendly cavalry unit so yeah so basically okay, if i move four hexes it, it's definitely yeah, this would be right about one two yeah basically yeah, right there. no no Im immediately here i think one two three four yeah you could try to intercept me in the previous previous turn from what i see because this is four right. hexes right so this guy is gonna try to this guy yeah, but, but let's to... say he will try to move here right yeah and then i'm gonna try i'm gonna i'm gonna try an interception let's see if there's so i moved four hexes away your unit is anywhere we have friendly the cavalry units and then oh, the here's enemy the interception unit. table um cavalry units only nine dots and three. and but by the way you need to be of course in the front or flank arcs but that's okay and what, is my, what are the right? what is the morale of these guys Seven. Oh, I don't like, know. Probably. Um, yeah, I think that's seven. Let me go look at that real quick. Because there's a certain uh, benefit to that. Mm, interesting. Yes, that is the morale rating. I only have a seven, so I don't get the bonus. But if that was an eight, I would get a, a, a easier chance to okay. get you. Okay. Uh, original morale of six or less. Not the case. AC and or WC's leader if stacked no it's not stacked okay all right so i need a zero to four without any modifiers <clears throat> got it so i would intercept it now what what do i do at that point if <laughs> I have no idea. Full, if successful the wing player must move must move the cavalry unit adjacent to the enemy unit it is intercepting and by the way there is you know, a plethora out things like you need to have enough movement points, but that's fine. Yeah, I definitely have it. Yeah. Yeah. And you are in so, front or flank. Yes. You, 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 you're eligible. Uh, each hex entered must be one hex closer. Yeah. All yeah. normal movement formation. I then intercepted enemy cavalry unit only. Oh, an intercepted enemy cavalry unit only may reaction fire and may do so even if the intercepting unit stands the interception adjacent. After yes. fire combat is resolved, the intercepting so cavalry can, unit may you engage. You can basically fire at me at this point with pistol. 
You can do, you can fire at me with pistol, but that that takes up your one pistol fire. Yeah, you know, I, and, right. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I'm I've just saying seen, that. I've seen. Yeah. I have only one shot. Yeah. All right. So okay. let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll end. Okay. Let's. let's uh, okay. Without close to... combat. Without close combat. Okay. Because well, you. Are you going to charge me? Or I no, would you you combat. initiate charge. All right. So let's percent. do the fire combat for you. Although when um, after fire combat is resolved, the intercepting cavalry unit may engage in close combat, which is resolved immediately. So you you don't need to, but you can. Uh, okay. I can choose so, to do a close combat or not. Yes. After do I after get the, to do a reaction fire to your pistol fire? Can I fire? No. No. No, you don't. It's only. Uh, right. I right, I think fine. it's only me. I I think so. All right. I mean, All right, so what you need is um, cavalry pistol fire. I'm looking at the table now. Modifiers fire. Okay, fire is or has formation shaken or open order marker. No, nope. Formation broken. No, advancing or retreating fire. That would be advancing fire, would it not? Uh, probably. I'm not I sure. I would think so. Yeah, because you're not because you're actually moving. Um, so that's negative three on the die roll okay i rolled two all right don't even worry about that then you didn't get it uh <laughs> you really you would have had to get in like a nine nine or better you know basically yeah that was going to be very difficult for you to get you'd have to get a nine basically all right so you didn't hit me so now i can do now i can close combat to you that's what it says. After fire combat is resolved, the intercepting cavalry unit may engage in close combat, which is resolved immediately. So if you want to, okay. you can uh, you can close combat me. And I think you can rotate if that changes anything like that. Oh, I don't think it changes anything. Okay, whatever. It's front to front. I, I don't know how close combat works. <laughs> close combat matrix. I am a Chris. I'm an archiver, your arc buster, right? You're not like you're not like a cursor, right? Mm. Cursor would I have, have no idea. Probably a cursor would have ar like heavier armor. It's like a heavy cavalry. I think That's these are all like I... I think um we need to figure that out because yeah, like that probably mm. is this I I would assume not. I assume this is just arc buster. Okay. Um all right, against an arc pursuer is the defender. I get a plus one on the combat matrix, which is 11, rule 1138. Let's go look at that real quick. Wait, you are defender? <laughs> you are attacker, I think. No, you, no? I'm the arc pursuer attacking an arc pursuer defender. I get plus one. Uh, the, okay, I, I, I thought you said you are defender. Mm -hmm. No. no. Um... 1138. Let's take a quick look at that. My cold is kicking in, so I need to stop after this. Yeah, sure. I, I, I um, need to do some stuff too. <laughs> today. All right, here's the matrix. Some unit types are more effective against certain types of targets. Consult the close combat matrix to determine if any modifiers. Note that artillery is ignored in close combat. Use the modifier that helps the defender, the defender most. Okay. For example, heavy. Cavalry pistol fire. Oh, I could, I could just do a pistol fire. Oh, cool. Uh, but but um, yeah, which basically, yeah. okay. I, you know what? I actually might go ahead and just do that. Um, let me let me just do that because that's actually what I would do because I don't want to, I don't want to get mauled up. I just want to <laughs> slow you down, right? I mean, that's basically yeah, you would. Here. Sure. I think so. I think I would. Um, so let's just do that. Ooh, two. I think I got you. Um, let's take a look at the pistol fire. That that would make sense that you won't just pass by and kind of slow me down. Okay, the fire advancing definitely. So negative. Defender is in column. <clears throat> I don't think so. I don't know how you mark a column even yet. I don't, I don't know. Cavalry. Each SP greater than three. The SP greater than three. What is the SP? S. Uh, I don't know. Wait, SP. I thought I know what it is. 
Let's see if it's in the glossary. Of course not. I love when definitions are not in the glossary. Okay. Um, let's look at that. No, that's like the 50,000 things I have SP in them. Is there a way to just say exactly? And it's like self-propelled is the only thing that comes to my mind. Uh, SP... I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Stack yeah. points? Stack points, maybe? I, I don't know. I have to bring that up. Yeah, All right, let's, let's end it there. Yeah. I, I think I missed because cause what's weird is the modifiers pull you down. All right, well, I guess that makes sense. Um, cap I, I, I mean, if if you go just only... passed by and fire pistols, you won't have much effect. <laughs> I know, but okay, so then let's try that. So let's let's retroactively say that let's just do a close combat. So I have the plus one close combat. Die well, just to see how, how it works, right? Because I don't know how close combat Is works. Is there a morale or... differential? No, there isn't. Strength ratio. SR is strength ratio. Okay. All right. Is that what I was trying to look at before? What the hell was I looking up before? All right, whatever. It doesn't matter. You, you right, look uh, at the SP. You, you looked at SP before. Defending cavalry expends a pistol shot. You did do that, right? Um, no, you already spent it. You already spent it. For each attacking cavalry, expending a pistol shot. Okay, so plus one for a pistol shot. Okay, so I can... I can, I will expend my pistol shot. So to, that's what I will do instead. Instead of that, just instead of just just the pistol thing, I'm gonna do. Yeah. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna expend a pistol shot to gain an extra plus one. Ah, in, com in close combat. Yeah. Oh, five. Right. So I'm plus that's two. Good. So I'm plus two, and then that's it. I think. Let me see. Defender is formation shaken now. Cavalry momentum. Plus. Let's go look at cavalry momentum eleven three six. If any mm. attacking yeah. heavy infantry. Yeah, if you have clear hex, oh shit! If you have clear hex and you've moved two hexes, then you get the yeah. cavalry momentum. So I get plus two for that too. Mm -hmm. What's interesting is that would be my momentum and your momentum, wouldn't it? Okay, mm -hmm. but no, I'm just kidding. All right, so let me just roll the dice, see what I get at this point. <laughs> um, attacker morale broken. Attacker retreat two hexes. Defender may advance into the vacated hex. Check for cavalry pursuit. All right, so I have to retreat to, I, I did very poorly there, one, two. Ah, you retreat two. <laughs> yeah. I thought, and, I thought uh, you broke me. And then you can pursue. I can enter. No, I can enter the vacated hex. Well, here, resulting in it's unable to resulting to that the defender advances after if the defender hex is empty, the attacking unit must advance. May advance or choose. Yeah. The, ah. Okay. No. If if there are so I can advance, but I don't need to. If the defender hex is empty. The attacker unit must advance, while the defending unit may advance or choose to remain in its original hex. So I assume I don't need to advance after you if, if you were attacker and I would defend there. Right. So um, like, I'm sorry, cavalry pursuit. Here's the rule of it. Hold on. Pursuing cavalry under a charge order, you are. So you're plus one. So it's kind of requires victory coverings to check for pursue. Any unit is required to pursue even if its current movement allowance is zero. Okay. All right. Procedure. So just go ahead and roll your roll your two before mm -hmm. before conducting advance that's after combat off. roll on the cavalry pursuit on table. The, on the pursuit table, that's a break off. Break off. The cavalry yeah. unit does not pursue. Instead, it performs a normal advance after combat. So I just enter mm -hmm. the hex you, you left, and that's it. Yep. So there we go. We've done our first combat. 
Very cool. Let me uh, yeah. end the log file. So save it if you save want the game. Or, or whatever. I'm, I'm not saving. Uh, but I will read the rule book, definitely. It sounds interesting, but I need mm -hmm. to go through all of it. Uh, to know what's going on. Yeah, and I will need to run All right, my cool. other stuff. All right, see you. <laughs> see you then. Yeah, thanks for the game.